The furor over Republican Senate candidate Todd Akin's comments about rape and abortion this week certainly has been uh, spilling over to the presidential campaign. Both candidates are sensitive to how the uh, issue may impact women voters, a group that some strategists believe may determine who wins the White House in November. Our own Lisa Sylvester has been digging into this story for us. Lisa, what are you finding? Wolf, you know, in every presidential race, there's a key demographic. We have seen the soccer mom, the NASCAR, NASCAR dad. And this year, it really seems that it is the year of the women, both candidates vying to win over female voters. That's... President Obama courting women for their vote in Colorado. They want to take us back to the policies more suited to the 1950s than the 21st century. In New York, addressing thousands of women bloggers. You women should have control over the decisions that affect your health, your lives, your careers. And in campaign ads. I think Mitt Romney's really out of touch with the average woman's health issues. Democrats are tapping out a consistent drumbeat that Republicans are a bad choice for women. Three words heard repeatedly, the so-called war on women. Democrats point to Rush Limbaugh and comments he made about women's activist Sandra Fluke over the issue of access to contraception. It makes her a slut, right? They highlight proposed GOP funding cuts to Planned Parenthood and a call for a constitutional ban on abortion. And the outrageous statements of Missouri Republican Senate candidate Todd Akin plays right into it. If it's a legitimate rape, uh, the female body has ways to try to shut that whole thing down. You already have a lot of women voters outraged at uh, what the candidate's comments were. You already have a lot of Democrats basically saying that they're not going to let voters forget about these comments. The women's vote matters. President Obama is leading 53% to Romney's 44% among registered female voters. According to exit polls, Mr. Obama had 56% of the women's vote in 2008. The Romney campaign is firing back bringing out its strongest weapon in the fight for women's votes, portraying the candidate as a loving, devoted family man. Well, I will say that, and, um, that for me, it's so comforting to know that Mitt is always by my side and always sticks with me in the hardest times. Republicans dismiss the talk of a war on women as pure campaign rhetoric. They say when voters go to the polls, what they really care about those pocketbook issues. Hadley Heath is with the Independent Women's Forum, a Republican political advocacy group. They're concerned that they don't have a lot of opportunities to be promoted or to find other job opportunities. So jobs, 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 I can't say it enough. Women are just as concerned as men about the direction of the economy. So going forward, we can expect a couple of storylines and Romney to continue to play a much more visible role on the campaign trail and expect Democrats, especially after the Aiken controversy, to keep trying to win over women, particularly focusing on those moderate, those in the middle, and those independent women, Wolf. Lisa, thanks very much. Uh, let's go to